Back to civilization. I was a safari. What? Your father has been waiting for that jacket. He's got to wear it on television this afternoon. What took you so long? I couldn't get waited on. There was a big crowd at the mall shop. I mean, at the tailor's. <laughs> That's what I thought. What's she getting all ickied up for? You know I'm going to the sixth grade dance tomorrow night. You mean the sick grade dance, don't you? It's only the biggest thing of the year. Go, go, go. Your father is waiting. Someday I'm going to be rich and trade him for a sister. <laughs> yeah. Never mind him. Let's see, where will we put this bow? Babel is wearing a bow, too. Babel? Yeah, she's always talking in class, so we call her Babbling Brooks. <laughs> Boy, Marvin Decker sure likes her. Well, now, how do you know that? Well, in dodgeball, he's always throwing the ball at her. And she likes him so much, she doesn't even dodge anymore. <laughs> well, you know, I think that's been my trouble with men. I kept on dodging all the time. <laughs> and when I finally stopped dodging, they got too old to throw. <laughs> oh, I think we're going to have to put this hem up at least a couple inches. Hey, how do I look, kid? Mm, Isn't it snazzy? Yeah, fine, dear. How about that? Mm -hmm. Huh? Great, huh? <laughs> Kathy, take a look at it, will you please? How does it look? <laughs> boy, oh boy. I mean, here's a kid going to a, a dance in a school gym. It's a historic occasion. I'm only going on television, and I buy a nice new jacket. I can't even get the time of day around here. It's 3.30. <laughs> Oh, you're such a wise guy. Well, make a note of the time so you'll always remember what time you were fired. <laughs> well, for crying out loud, I'm going on the Herb Lewis show. It's coast to coast. I, as far as you guys are concerned, I could have worn a torn T-shirt in Bermuda. <laughs> oh, Daddy, come back here and stop acting like such a baby. Well... My goodness, you go on television lots of times, but this is Linda's first big dance. What are you talking about? She's been on a lot of dances at school. This time they're making boys come, too. <laughs> they're making the boys come? Yeah, the boys usually run out in the hall. But this dance, Miss Bennett says everybody has to stay in the gym and dance. Oh. The girls will probably still dance with each other. But this time we stand a chance with a boy. <laughs> oh, well, this is kind of a historic occasion. <laughs> this is best you can, Miss Williams. I got to put on the dinner. Oh, all right, Louise. I'll do the rest. Right. Get down, darling. Turn around. And guess what else, Daddy? What? I get to stay out till 9 o'clock. Well, good for you. Everybody's going to be there, except Lefty Chips and Noodles. They have the measles. Lefty Chips and Noodles? <laughs> Sounds like a recipe for lasagna. <laughs> Lefty Chips and Noodles, that, those are names? Yeah, Lefty likes Judy, oh. but she likes Stuffy. Stuffy used to like Brenda, but now... She likes Johnny. How'd a name like Johnny get in there? <laughs> you still like Arthur McNish? Skinny McNish? Mm -hmm. Mother, that was last week. Skinny is a glob. He's a glob? When I first met him, I thought he was a cracker. Cracker. <laughs> a crack up that's worse than a glob? Crack up means funny. Oh. But you know who's tough? Who is? Wendell Henderson. Who's Wendell Henderson? He's only the best tetherball player in the school. Excuse me, I haven't been to the Hall of Fame lately. I think. <laughs> Wendell Henderson, is that so? Yeah, he's real tough. Linda, you know I don't think you should play with tough children. Mommy, tough doesn't mean tough. It means, well, you know, great. Hey, what's the matter with you? Don't be such a square. <laughs> Wendell is tough. Skinny McNish is not tough. Skinny's okay. Thought you said he was a glob. When I say he's okay. I mean he's not okay. You say the opposite of what you mean. <laughs> sure. Don't be such a square. <laughs> Gee, what a pity Elizabeth Barrett Browning isn't here today. What a sonnet she could have written. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. You're a glob. <laughs> You're tough. <laughs> You're a real cracker. <laughs> but most of all, you're not okay. <laughs> oh, Daddy, that's beautiful. <laughs> you mean to tell me that's the way you talk to Wendell Henderson? Oh, I've never spoken to Wendell. Huh? You haven't? Well, I mean, we've never met exactly, but I know he likes me. 
You've never met? How do you know he likes you? Well, at the Little League game, he knocked the dirt out of his spiked shoes and let me keep it for my scrapbook. <laughs> oh, how romantic. Yeah, regular Gregory Sloppy. <laughs> Look, I got no time to talk romance with you. I gotta go do a broadcast. See you guys later. Okay. Mommy, don't you think you could lower the strap a little here? Lower the strap? <laughs> I'll lower the strap someplace else on you, young lady. Oh, Danny. Don't you owe Danny me. What kind of talk is that? I think we could lower it, maybe just a little bit. Where's this dance being held? At Minsky's? <laughs> Where's Minsky? Minsky's is a department store downtown, dear. <laughs> Ask me, I think the straps could go a little higher. They should be wider, too. I didn't ask you. Oh, excuse if me. If it were up to you, she'd be wearing a turtleneck formal. What's the matter with that? Gee, Daddy, you'd think I was a little kid. Don't be in such a hurry to grow up, huh? As a matter of fact, I think you ought to shrink a little bit. And I think a turtleneck formal would be just fine. <laughs> Have a good show, dear. I hope I'm a big flop. What? Don't be such a square. It means the opposite. <laughs> you know they're all the same. They yeah, sure are. By the way, Danny, how's that little girl of yours? Little girl? Mm -hmm. Linda? Oh, she's a big girl now. She grew up while I wasn't looking. No kidding. Yeah, going to dances with boys now. She's discovered boy? Discovered? She's the Christopher Columbus of the sixth grade. <laughs> That kid has a crush on a new boy every week. I swear she falls in and out of love during recess. <laughs> you know, I think now if she reads Little Red Riding Hood, she'd be rooting for the wolf. <laughs> She's a cute kid. Oh, you ought to see our house right now, boy. It's hmm? like the general's preparing an attack. What do you mean? Oh, they are plotting Operation Wendell. Who's Wendell? You don't know Wendell Henderson? <laughs> Oh, boy, you better read up on your tetherball, kid. <laughs> Wendell's the best tetherball player in the whole school. <laughs> oh, he's quite a fella. And you know what? Mm. He gave Linda some dirt. <laughs> <laughs> You're staring at me, Herb. But that's the new thing now. If you want a girl to love you, you give her a glob of dirt. <laughs> me, like a schmo, I gave my wife a diamond ring. <laughs> At the time, I was loaded with dirt. <laughs> now, of course, you, uh, you, you won't believe this, but Linda has got a glob of dirt from Wendell's baseball spikes, and she's got it in her scrapbook. You're kidding. Oh, yeah. She's got the only scrapbook in the world with crabgrass. <laughs> of course, you don't know Wendell, and I don't know Wendell, but to my daughter, he is the Romeo of the sixth grade. Oh, that's wonderful. But what about these meeting of the generals you mentioned? Well, that's my wife and our maid. They're preparing that kid for this dance like they're going into a battle. Oh, come on, then. No, no, I mean it. I mean, she's getting a strategy from my wife and judo holes from our maid. <laughs> she's gonna swoop down on that poor kid and all he'll have to defend himself with is a lopsided feather ball. <laughs> all I can say to you, Wendell, is if captured, give only your name, rank, and library card number. <laughs> Let's have some hugs and kisses for the TV star. Hey, hey, lovely. Hey, honey, how was I? You are awful. Uh -huh. You ruined my life. Now how can I go to the dance where the whole world knows I like Wendell Henderson? I'll never speak to you again, ever, ever. Uh -huh. ever. <laughs> well, well, uh, well, go figure out, kids. Hey, honey, how was I? Big mouth. <laughs> All right, Linda. Yes, darling, you may have lunch at the cafeteria. She may not. You tell her to come home this instant. Goodbye, sweetheart. <laughs> you mean to tell me she'd rather eat in a school cafeteria than come home for lunch? She says the food isn't as good, but at least they don't go on television and repeat everything she says. <laughs> Boy, you guys are making a big thing out of nothing. She was embarrassed, Danny. After all, she isn't a baby anymore. Well, if she's as grown up as she says she is, how come she can't figure out that I was doing it only for laughs? If I don't get laughs, this family doesn't eat, you know. Oh, yeah. If that's your sister calling back, you tell her to come home this instant. Boy. Hello? Oh, hi, Barbara. 
No, look, I can't talk to you right now. My father's in the room. <laughs> Why don't you just put my food under the kitchen sink? I'll eat in there. Uh, I'll see you at school this afternoon, okay? All right, goodbye. He can't talk to my father's in the room. Wise guy. I made a couple of jokes on television. All of a sudden, I'm, I'm not a member of this family. I've been on TV dozens of times, many programs. This never happened before. Yeah, you'll never be on I've Got a Secret. <laughs> Why don't you eat in the school cafeteria? Well, here we are. Nice, fresh cake. One for you, Mrs. Williams. One for you, Rusty. And one for the Voice of America. <laughs> And have to say. Wendell, huh, probably too busy laughing. Oh, hello, sweetheart. I never want to talk to you again, ever, ever! <laughs> I better have a little chat with her. Now, sweetheart, will you let me? I laid this egg, I'll hatch it. <laughs> Boy. May I uh, come in? Sure, I'll be gone in a minute anyway. <laughs> You, uh... <laughs> going somewhere? Uh-huh. That's right. I'm going to Africa. <laughs> Africa? Well, this time of year, it's not such a good idea. It's the rainy season. <laughs> oh, is this your scrapbook? Yes, please hand it to me. Oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, dear. I'll, I'll, I'll get you some more dirt, dear. That's not funny. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. That's from Wendell's cleats. <laughs> now, look, Linda, you're being silly. You think I said those things on television just to embarrass you? I don't care. Now I can't go to the dance. I'll never be able to talk to any of the kids anymore, and Wendell will never speak to me again. What do you mean, never speak to you again? You said he didn't speak to you in the first place. <laughs> now he never will, ever, and it's all your fault. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have talked about Wendell and you on television. I, I'm sorry I did it. I, I guess your daddy is just a big glob. <laughs> Now, look, I, I talk about my children because I'm proud of them. And, 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 well, I talked about Rusty. I made jokes about him. He didn't get sore. I know, but Rusty's not a woman. <laughs> That's right, and you are. And I certainly shouldn't have talked about you. After all, a young lady has a right to have secrets. Aren't you going to take my picture? No. <laughs> now, Linda, I, I want to talk to you, sweetheart. Now, will you just stop packing for a minute? If you're such a young lady, you should know that young ladies listen to their father when they speak. I know, but other fathers don't go on television and say everything their kids say. Yeah, yeah, well, you're not as lucky as other kids. Unfortunately, you're stuck with a father who should be listed in the yellow pages on the big mouth. <laughs> you're just gonna have to live with it and forgive your old blundering dad. Now, what do you say? What can I do to square myself with you? Now, you name it and you got it. Can I have two weeks advance of my allowance? <laughs> you got it. I need it for my trip to Africa. Now, you got it! <laughs> I'll give you two whacks in advance in just a second. Daddy, I just can't stay here and have all those kids laugh at me. Oh, why should you let that bother you? That's easy for you to say. Nobody ever laughs at you. <laughs> well, 
Linda, stop being silly. Now stop that packing. No, I'm going. Now you stop being a spoiled brat and you put that suitcase away. No, I'm going and nothing you could say can stop me. Is that so? Halt! <laughs> put that suitcase down. Not on my toe! <laughs> Now look, young lady, you stay in your room and don't you come out until I tell you to come out. So I said the wrong thing, sue me. What are you shouting about? That nut of yours is packing to leave home. Oh, my poor baby. Poor baby, poor baby, don't be running to her. She's not taking your picture to Africa either. <laughs> Who's going to Africa? Your sister, she's running away from home. Oh, crazy, can I have her room? Oh, get out of here! Nutty family, I go on television, I tell a few jokes. Everybody gets excited. I'm supposed to tell jokes. I make a living telling jokes. Can I help it if you all take it wrong? It's not my fault. And whose fault is it? Wendell. <laughs> That's whose fault it is. Wendell Henderson. You stay home, Linda. Let Wendell go to Africa. <laughs> Better yet, everybody stay home. I'll go to Africa. <laughs> Linda Williams home? Yes, she is. Who's calling? Oh, I'm not calling. You're not? Well, I was going to call, but I figured it would be better to come over. Yeah? <laughs> well, who should I say came over? Me. <laughs> you? Who are you? Wendell Henderson. Well, <laughs> look at here. Miss Williams? Yes? The mountain has come to Mohammed. <laughs> is Wendell Henderson. Am I glad to see you. Me too. Now I can tear up my letter to dear Abby. <laughs> <laughs> Wendell, I'm Linda's mother. How do you do? This is a surprise. Won't you sit down? Thank you. I assume you came to see Linda. Well, uh, yeah, um, I, uh, I wanted to get some homework from her. I, um, wasn't listening in class today. Aren't there any other children you could get homework from? Well, uh, yeah, but... Well, I sort of heard on TV that she likes me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we sort of heard that, too. I hope you're not mad at your father for talking about you on that show. Mad? Gosh, I'm not mad. He practically made me a celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> what did the other kids say? Oh, they kind of tease me, but that just means they're jealous. Oh. That's a very intelligent attitude, Wendell. I wish you'd pass it on to Linda. Well, I tried to talk to Linda at school, but I couldn't catch her. Every time I looked for her, she hid. Mm. Well, we'll see about that. Linda Wendell Henderson is here. Linda went to Africa. <laughs> Linda, he came to get some homework from you. She took her homework with her. <laughs> Linda, he came all the way over here. Now you come out this instant. Come on. Uh, hi. Hi. Yeah, uh, hi, uh, have you got today's homework? Uh-huh. Well, uh, if it's okay with you, I'd like some help on it. It's okay with me. Well, uh, I wanted to ask you if, uh, uh, do you mind? <laughs> I don't mind at all. As a matter of fact, I do have some work to do in the kitchen. Did you see your dad on TV? Yeah, I saw him. Gee, Linda, I didn't know you liked me. If I had, I would have given you dirt for your scrapbook a long time ago. His <laughs> letter? Yeah. Boy. Your, your father's a big star. I, I never thought he'd talk about me on TV. Boy, he's a swell guy. Yeah, I guess he is. 
So, uh, uh, if you go to the dance, uh, I'll go to the dance, and we'll dance. <laughs> okay, I'll go. But, uh, I don't want the other guys to think I'm a sissy, so, uh, we won't dance too much, huh? That's all right. I promised most of my dances to Sally Brown anyway. <laughs> Good, but, uh, we'll have fun. We'll look at each other a lot. Okay. Well, I gotta go. Okay. Oh, you better give me some of your homework anyway, so the, uh, guys won't think I just came over to see you or something. I'll go get it. Oh, hello, Mr. Williams. Oh, hi, son. You know me? Yes, sir. I saw you on TV. You sure were wonderful. Well, thank you. I think you're one of the best comedians. You sure do tell a lot of good jokes. Well, I think you're a very well-mannered young man. Your parents must be very proud of you. Thank you. Sit down, son. Sit down. What's your name? Wendell Henderson. Get out of here! <laughs> You did to Linda. Uh, I didn't. Of course you didn't. When all the kids were teasing her at school, you didn't do anything. Some Romeo you are. When there's trouble, you go hiding in the balcony. Well, let me tell you something, you little sawed-off lover. You may be a good-looking kid and all like that and drive the other kids in the school crazy, but don't let me catch you playing Casanova with my Linda. Do you understand? But, now, get out of here before you get more lopsided than your tether ball. Scram! <laughs> Oh, you're speaking to me now. Uh-huh, and I think you're the most wonderful daddy in the whole wide world. Really? Uh-huh. Well, that's more like it. <laughs> Where's Wendell? Oh, you don't have to worry about him. I threw him out on his ear. What? <laughs> It's getting a little late. What time is our wayward daughter coming home? Darling, the dance will be over at 9 o'clock. Mrs. Riley is picking her up and will bring her right home, so stop worrying. Hmm. Didn't she look beautiful? Mm-hmm. She's going to be the belle of that dance. Mm-hmm. Almost as pretty as her mother. Young man, flattery will get you somewhere. <laughs> hey! Hello, Hi, pretty. Darling. Did you have Did a good you time? Huh? Oh, I had a wonderful time. Uh, did you? Look at my dance card. I danced with everyone, even some boys. <laughs> well, how about that? And guess what? I danced with Robert Brenner twice, and oh, he's real tough. And he's the best tetherball player in the school. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Robert Brenner? What kind of thing? What happened to Wendell Henderson? Wendell Henderson? Oh, he's just a child. I could never be serious about him. I also danced with him, and I danced with him. You mean to tell me I chased him for four blocks, bought him a new tether ball, promised to mention him on TV three more times? I did all this for a child? Linda, you've ruined my life. I'll never, ever, ever speak to you again. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> You're funny, too. Guess what, Daddy? What? I left one dance open on my card. It's for you. Really? Come on, you have to dance with me. Okay. <laughs> Maestro, would you hum a little orchestration for us, please? Well, certainly. Thank you. Bye. I have to lead. I don't know how to follow yet. Oh. <laughs>